Hey guys, Trini Blaze here. I wanted to do a more in-depth review of the Xbox Elite controller. Yeah, I've seen I've seen reviews on the um, Xfinity One scuff controller. Yeah, it has some of the features what Xbox has. As I said before, I don't get paid from Xbox, or I don't get uh, any type of deal from scuff or anything. I do have an earlier scuff, probably seven months old i don't have the new one i will get the new scuff controller but i wanted to show you guys some things what they updated on the xbox one controller what makes it even better you understand me this thing is the truth all right for one i'm gonna go in to like mapping your controller now look how sick this thing is say you go to configure right yeah, I'm going to use slut one. You could give it different names. You could do different creations of exactly what you want. You have slot one, slot two. If you notice, I have a couple of names in there for different settings that I have. But I'm going to use slot one for my examples today. Right? You could change every single button that you want on here. You could even make your thumbstick A button, B button. You can make the paddles A button. You can make the, the, the paddles on the bo bottom your trigger button. You understand me? This is how in-depth and detailed this controller is. Now, I wanted to show you something because I have a little trouble with it. This is the trigger and the trigger vibration. You can turn off all your vibration. Now, left trigger. Watch how crazy this thing is. You can put this thing in detail. Just default. You can do a delay. Let me show you how it, the line changes. That's the delay. Aggressive, instant, and also smooth. This thing is crazy. Now, instant is a little complicated to play with. It's like you playing with your sensitivity all the way up on your controller. It's a little, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a little hard. You just got to get a, a little custom to it and you will be fine. Right? But that's that's the detail aspect of everything with the controller right triggers this is how you map it you want that tight feel you could go on either side bring it down you could do different thing bring it up you could set your controller exactly how you want it and how you want it to shoot right i'm gonna show you the example you see the, the little thing on the bottom we're gonna go down lower watch out what it does so now if you go up on one the trigger is still tight right but watch see so I go here so let's say I raise this up a little bit and you get that you go down a little bit you go to half see still tight Go down even further, right? You get that. But let's do this. Let's move the right side down. You get a, you get a certain reaction of how things is done, right? And as I say, you can map every single thing on there. You can make this con controller a monster, especially with the trigger stops, right? This thing is off the hook, right? Now, I wanted to show y'all guys my scuff controller. Uh, I'm a little, I don't have much lighting in here. This is my scuff controller, my earliest scuff. As you can see, scuff one, I only like two paddles. I don't like using four paddles. I do have a bunch of controllers now. This is the controller. Um, basically, you have different paddings, different stuff. You could change every single thing on here. This is how everything is. And this is the case that it comes in. All right? Why is my lighting so dim? Let me see if I can brighten this up. Yep, much better. All right? So you have all every aspects, paddles, different things you could change. Scuff also did this where you could clip in the paddles and stuff. 
but the the main thing about it what i don't like you still have to put something in the controller to control your trigger button now this mapping system xbox came up with is brilliant it's off the hook see i pulled the paddle out it was like cake and i'm gonna put this back here pretty simple i'm gonna change one of my thumbsticks to show y'all popped it out i'm gonna pop one right in and that's all it was in and out all right this that's the xbox one controller guys it's pretty simple it's off the hook i know that the xfinity one is great scuff been doing this for a long time you know i mean so they they can do their things they 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 capable of doing a great product but right now xbox I'm, I'm giving it to them hands down. As I said, I don't have a Xbox Infinity One controller from Scuff. I probably will get one just to just to see how it is. Or maybe Scuff would see my video and, and give me one to try out. Who knows? I ain't that lucky, but maybe. Um, I also wanted to say, say something else. A lot of my friends complain about, oh, the gun's not shooting. I'm not shooting. Have you ever go into your network on the Xbox and looked at your detailed statistics? Run that test and see what type of MS you get back when the test is run. See what's your upload, what's your download speed. But remember, MS is milliseconds, right? That is the time you take to see something to transfer on your screen. You might see yourself pulling the trigger. But that's not the case because the other person sees something else because they, their MS is much better. People play on big screen TVs and all these different things. No, you can't do that. You're creating so much lag in your game. Plus, the game has lag. Your controller has lag. The TV has lag. You see how small my setup is? You see how small this thing is? I used to play on a 52-inch. No. No. You mean it took me a minute to adjust to this, but this I can see everything. I can react faster. I can do a lot of things faster because I see it faster. You mean and I, it, it's it's not that it's not a controller that makes you get better. It's not even though I have this controller or whatever. I still practice. I still go play with the butts. Still practice because you mean there's always gonna be people better than you. You know what I mean? So anything you can do to improve your skills and to get better at it, you got to do these things. You know what I mean? I still look at uh, a lot of YouTubers' videos. I get to understand certain things. I learn certain things. The controller will not make you a better player. It will help with certain things, but it will not make you a better player. You have to take the time to understand the controller, find a setting for which you are capable of playing with to your best of your abilities. This is what Scuff or Xbox controllers are about. You got to find what's best for you and play that way. Now, as I say, you know what I mean? Keep enjoying Black Ops 3. I still hate you goddamn campers. I heard campers camping about camping. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Remember, Trini Blaze here for Just Blaze Gaming. Please subscribe, like my videos, hit me up anytime, leave a comment and leave a like. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.